hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel um this is niger pride crazy tips and you know here we talk about how to make money online and you know how we can run on astera how you can run on adsense how we can make money using an ad mob and also how we can create a mobile app standard app and any app that you will not face ad limit all right so if you are facing ad limit I've made a video on that how you can go uh, come uh, across and also um, so stay away from all those kind of a thing because there are some mistakes which we do that leads to ad limits all right so I, I, I've, I've made a video on that so but today uh, there is one of us here that said I should make a video on how to put um logins to uh, um, our app 24 app okay so, so that's what i'm going to show you guys right now so without wasting much of our time we just need to dive into our browser and then um we'll go straight to app 24 to, to watch it out app 24 all right so we, uh, we choose our account and then log into Apple 24 right so when we log in down here we are going to um, create app right now so here right now we are going to put the name of the app uh, what we just we'll, let's just name this uh, um, Google Google logins right now we are going to choose app icon so we are going to choose app icon um let's just use fm here and then we'll put description how to make google login then you click on next all right so you can see now um most of you this uh, style for the, for your app is very very necessary especially when you're trying to create a pro app that will look very nice all right so you need to be color oriented like you need to have this stuff in your mind and this time around i'm going with um let's say black or uh, any other color any other color is, is nice but as far as you can uh, make it nice and neat so and then what is the next thing we're going to choose chat social network here um let's say let's say yes um do you want the app to have an user finder and let's say years and continue and then title example like social network okay mm -hmm. let's name it social network social media okay uh do you want to include an user video section okay let's say no and then we we'll go back to app manager here Okay, now for us to download this app, we're going to click here right now to download this app. So we have to wait about one minute for this uh, app to generate, all right? Then we are going to leave it like this and then go back so we can start. Um, but we really need to download this app so that we'll open the app and see how it looks like. And then we'll now integrate the login so it will look neat. And then that's just it. We just need to wait for, for a few minutes. They, they say one minute will actually at times it will be up to more than that um, one minute so we just need to exercise patient all right you can see it right now um we just need to click on download and then we download the app to our phone and then <clears throat> use this opportunity to subscribe to this channel and do not subscribe if you not like what we're doing we only need people that love what we are doing how to make money online do not subscribe if you're not sure that what we're doing is well Organized for your site, all right. So now we need to open this app and then install it to our phone. We just need to wait. The app is installing. Then after installation, we are going to open this app. So also see how it looks like. Then open the app. I'm going to show you some features that will make your brain go off. All right. Okay. You can see that um. This this is the login and then. Um, you can see this you can see this I think this is very nice and uh, but you know 
any anybody that sees this app right now will notice that this app uh, is created using Apple 24. I'm going to show you how to do this so that it will not look like Apple 24. I hate it when I see app published on Play Store and when I download when I install it and I notice that the app was made with um, Apple 24. And most of us may not like it. You understand? Even me too. I don't used to like that, right? But I'm going to show you the best way to design your app so that it will not look like as if it is made with the Apple 24. All right. So your focus should be on how to redesign your app. How to make your app to look very neat so that anybody that downloads it will not notice that this app was made with Apple 24. All right. So now let's let's go back to where we are so we can make some new design and then check it out. All right. Now we are going to focus on that the same thing and eh? like how to put that logins right now. We are going to put that right now. Okay. So what we just need to do now to put these logins is now we'll go to sections and we'll go to this social media and then we'll go we'll, we'll scroll down down then you, you, you're going to see a login type here you can see the login type right here okay we are going to select the kind of login type that we need okay now uh you can see this particular one here now for the, the one of email this particular one once the person uh put the gmail the name and password they are going to email that particular person your app is going to automatically email the person and the person will need to go to that email and confirm it first before the person will have access or to log into the app okay now this particular the second one here right now is facebook slash google but it's optional they are going to include this particular one to this first one they are going to include both of them you understand but this facebook slash google it will be optional like if you like you use that one if you don't like you can use the other email right so now i'm going to to select to select uh, Facebook slash Google, the, the one of optional, all right. Option. So you look, so you see how it will look like. Let's select um, this particular one, and then um, now save, save it straight. Okay. Now let's go back to the app, and then see how it will look like right now. Mm. <clears throat> all right. You can see this here. Um, this is the one of Facebook and this is the one of uh, Google so but the, all these ones right here they are optional like if you like you use it if you don't like you just go straight here and log in and then save your data right so but right now we are going to make this professional right so we are going to be removing all this all these particular parts that is not that is, that is not looking nice you understand I hate using this particular one because it looks somehow right so we just need to, to stay away from it right and when someone install your app and log in using that um, gmail stuff it's going to be a person if the person will, will surely do some one or two with your app because now we're going to choose facebook slash google the required okay now we are going to save it and also check that app again to see how it look like okay i love making it practicalizing it so we see it the way it appears so that any changes we do will We've seen it okay you can see it now the other side of it uh left the app right now okay now we are going to like you know now all this stuff right now is not working like i clicked on this the one of google yes you can see all these accounts popped up but whenever you select something like this it's not going to log you in and it's not going to show you anything because we have not configured it same thing with facebook is not going to even click at all all right so what we just need to do now is to assign functions to all these button right now so it will start working perfectly right so what we just need to do is to go back down to that browser and then and then we we'll go back to that same section i'm going to show you what to do there all right then here now you are going to see something like this on, on the that place you selected uh, uh, what uh, facebook slash google required you're going to see something facebook help and google help okay so this is where you're going to configure all those things and it's very very self-explanatory if you follow it up so we are going to be configuring the one of google right now because that is the people people hate logging in with their facebook so we are only configuring this particular one right now so it's also the same way you configure the one of facebook so when you click that place um this uh dialog box is gonna pop up so so you say telling that you have to click here and click configure configure a project button then two step two is to create the create or select the project then in O authentication configuration, uh, select Android, enter the package name, and in SA uh, one uh, field, enter the following address. Then after previous step, you can close the window to finish the configuration. Right. So I think this is very simple. 
then what you just need to do then is to click here which is you can see the blue uh, uh, this text with the blue button uh, blue color just click on it and it's going to take you to developer.google.com here you're going to create the app remember the step um here they said you should click on configure a project you can see it here so that's what we're going to click right now and um so here now we are going to select or create a project so we are creating a new project so let's create a new project then we're going to rename this thing to um uh, google login login okay so then we're going to click on next then right now we are going to uh, uh sorry i'm going to turn on our uh, desktop site i'm going to turn on desktop site because of um um so that it will give us space for us to do what we're doing i'm going to turn on this thing so that it will look like laptop yeah you can see it it, 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 will, it will work very fast and perfect and also show us what is going on when i zoom it like this right so then we click on a project again and then we are going to add select or create a, a new project let's say we put y band here okay so you can see now <coughs> I, I said some kind of word that that confused them because Y band is one kind of name like that, so they don't know what it means, right? Now where are you calling from? So we are calling from Android. You can see we are calling from Android. We're going to select Android now. Here we're going to put that package name. Okay, we're going to put that package name, right? And then the S A H. See, this is this particular um, stuff here. That is what we're going to be to be using there. Okay. So we just need to, co to copy this correctly and then we put it there. Once we, we are done, we click on create. You can see it now uh, this is the, um, the client ID and the client secret key. Okay, so but now we are not going to use any of this right now. Okay, we are just going to click on done. Once we click on done, we are done. All right <clears throat> now let's go back to check the app to see if the stop app reflected so but before we do this there is something we just need to do so that it will show up immediately where is the app where okay this is it so we need to go to app information when you long click on the app you click on app information you go to storage and cache then clear the storage and then clear the cache and after that we'll come back there to open the app again so that the whole information which we've added will show up as the app will try to grab the necessary information from the server right okay now we're going to click on the google logins right now to see how it's going to work out now let's go let's see if it's going to work boom you can see that um we've logged into the app you know this stuff work just worked perfectly right now okay so that is how you put the google login the one on Facebook is also the same thing. It's very, very self explanatory You can just use that same method and log in there. Once you click on that uh, Facebook help, it's going to show you the step-by-step -step guide which you're going to use to put your Facebook logins, okay? So now I'm going to show you how to, to redesign this app right now so that it will look very neat, okay? Look at this. I hate all these things here. So what we just need to do, we we'll go back to the app, to the um to the browser, and then log into, into the app of 24. And then... Um, here we are. We are going to sections. Sorry, go to design and you go to uh, menu type. Menu type. Okay. We are going to select um, a new menu type which we are going to be using for our app. Okay. Click on menu type and you can see they have up to four different menu types here. So the one I like using is without menu. You go with without menu. You save it. Okay. Now another thing is color. You need to be you need to know color very very well you need to learn how to do your color so that it will look very neat okay so maybe here now we're going to set any color of your choice just click this black and then use this custom button right now and you now start putting your your color okay and then save it so like let's check again Great. You can see that the stuff, the upper corner of the, the screen is not neat. You can see it now. It looks very nice. Nobody will notice that this particular app was created with the Apple 24. So stay tuned.
next time i'm going to show you how to add uh, other stuff uh, like a menu um home page uh, button button and also how to change these colors to and also how you can get good color you understand so that it will match the look of your app whenever somebody opens your app all right so thank you for watching today's tutorial and may god bless you